Hi, it's Carl here. I'm going to be answering some of Google's most searched questions about me. The first one is, what is Carl Edmonds? Okay, nickname. My nickname is is Kedders is the main one and short is Keds. It actually started out from one of the coaches in the LTA, Martin. He uh, chose the nickname Kedmund. And it's basically Edmund with K at the start, so it just went Kedmund and then over the years it's just been changed a little bit and it just caught on with Keds or Kedders, so that's what most people call me. I know if they call me by that, I'm all right, but if they're saying Kyle, then I know it's gonna be a bit more of a serious conversation, so. I can tell. Okay. So the fear hand is basically my my, my best shot, my favourite shot is my forehand. I didn't come up with the name, someone did, and I think it's obviously quite self-explanatory with the fear hand that uh, you're meant to fear the shot, but it's not always the case, but it's definitely my best shot, and I know um, a few of the commentators use it on the tour. Um, but yeah, not something I came up with, but something that's caught on a bit like my nickname. Next one, does Kyle Edmund have any pets? Not me personally, I mean, my family does. When I used to like live in Yorkshire, where I grew up, probably from the age of 14, we had a little Jack Russell. His name's Milo. He's been with us 10 years now. Um, unfortunately, I don't get to see him too often, but I always love seeing him when I do. Um, it's just one of those things that lots of people know, dogs become part of the family, you grow fond of them, you always like looking out for them and if anything happens it's a disaster, so. Okay, is Kyle Edmund best friends, oh, hang on, with Jürgen Klopp? Not sure about friends, I've only ever met him once uh, when I went to visit Melwood for the day and it was a really good experience, really nice guy. Uh, I chatted to him on camera a bit and also off camera and I was really lucky when they did the, their closed sort of training session, no cameras. He invited me to watch the training session uh, and came over and chatted to me about different stuff and asked about tennis and asked him about football but obviously as a Liverpool fan, you, you know, he's a legend now. Uh, what he's done for the club, everyone loves him. I would like to obviously meet him a little bit more. I heard, I don't have his phone number or anything like that, so I can't really say I, I message him, but I've met him once and he's obviously a, a really funny guy. Okay, how many something does Kyle Edmund eat? I don't know what that is, but I'm going to say Jaffa Cakes because that's what came out. Oh, bananas. Well, the easy answer to that is zero because I've had two bananas uh, in my life and both times I've thrown up, so I don't have them anymore. Basically, if I do have them, I have them blended in smoothies. Um, but yeah, I'm not a massive fan of bananas. How can I find Carl Edmund? Your probably answer is not, it's not that easy because I'm traveling a lot. So when I'm in the country in the UK, it's not for very often. If you want to find me, I'm going to be three weeks in China next time. So if you want to fly to China, you can come and see me. Uh, but yeah, lots of travel. I don't. I probably generally stay in the same place for one week for the tournament. If I'm training, it'll be for two or three weeks for a block, but I'm on the road a lot, living out of suitcase. But yeah, it's not easy. Come to NTC if you want to watch some training. How does Kyle Edmund take his tea? Yorkshire tea with one sugar and a bit of milk. Although recently I've, I've stopped dairy, so I don't have uh, semi skim milk. I take almond milk now or coconut milk and it changes the tea a little bit, to be honest. I think with milk, it probably tastes a bit better. Obviously, with, without it, it's got a little bit of a coconut flavor in tea, which doesn't make sense, but tea, I'm, I'm a big fan of tea and biscuits, so uh, that's my thing, to be honest. Where did Carl Edmund meet Andy Murray? Uh, the first time I ever met him when I was, was when I was 14 years old. I think we were getting ready for the Orange Bar at Crandon Park, and and he always does his off seasons there in Miami. And we went and watched one of his training sessions and then before his session, he basically came up to us and introduced himself. And that was the first time I had ever seen him or shook his hand or anything. And then we actually went out for dinner that night to the Cheesecake Factory, I remember. We basically just had dinner 
uh, with Andy. That's my first ever sort of uh, personal experience with him. What is Carl Edmonds' favourite surface? I've had my best results on the hard court. I've won my first tour event, uh, made semis of uh, Australia on the hard court. So it's it's hard not to say the hard court, but uh, with the grass courts, I do enjoy playing on it, uh, especially because it's always in front of home fans. Um, for me, I always play Queens, Eastbourne and Wimbledon. It's a surface that not a lot of us get time on. Um, it's only four or five weeks during the year, so it's a very short period, um, and the other surfaces are a lot longer, but it's something I've got better at over the years, um, but what makes it even more special as a surface is you're always playing in front of your home fans, so it's something I enjoy. Thanks guys, I hope I answered some of your questions, and see you guys soon.